drive this 8-6 for one reason. Because defeating any opponent I'm up against with an old car everyone thinks is such a piece makes the win all the more satisfying. But this time, something's different for me. I cannot lose to another 8-6, no matter what. This is more pressure than I've felt in any other race. That's crazy. I can even see the aura radiating from your Chueno talking to me. You really think this is a good spot, Keisuke? The course is so damn narrow, there's really no other place to watch. This is the best we got, man. Here they come. Yeah, this is it. That sudden boost of power is the best thing this car has to offer. There goes that obsolete boom turbo of his. Hey, I got a question. Aren't Takami's Trueno and Wataru's Levin basically the same car? I mean, my understanding is that they got different headlamp and tail lamp designs, but that's pretty much where it stops. So why do you think the two of them are running so differently out there? Well, that's because, you know, I think my brother do a better job of explaining it to you than I would. I understand it in my head, but I just can't put that crap into words as good as he can. <laughs> it's like you were saying, Kenta. The Levin and the Trueno are like twin siblings. Except, their engines take different tuning methods. This, of course, causes them to run like two completely different cars. The method that gets used in the car without the turbocharger is called mechanical tuning. It's common. That's Takami's Trueno. His foot on the gas pedal controls the RPMs directly. Its instant response is its strength. Even after entering a corner at nearly top speed, he can still make adjustments to his attack. A nice advantage. That means he can attack the corners more aggressively than the car with the turbo ever could. When it comes to entering corners, cars like this are the best on the road. On the other hand, Eleven is a turbo. It might be a hair slower when it comes to corners, but the acceleration it has on the straightaways covers that difference in spades. Cars with turbo are best at exiting corners. Huh. And what about the Levin's fishtailing? Couldn't that become a big problem? The boom turbo tends to lag a bit, so once the boost pressure goes down, it takes some time to work it back up, which is something the driver should know how to do. That's why he keeps his foot on the gas when he's exiting the corners and controls the vehicle using counter-steering only. That's what his fishtailing technique is all about. It's so he can deal with all the peculiar details his car has, which I'm sure are quite a few by this point. That spell it out for you? Listen, pass racing's not just a touch-and-go sport. I got it. At least I think I'm understanding. <laughs> Are you certain this is where we're supposed to be? Yeah, I think. That's what he told me. What's that sound? That's them.
way. It was a boom turbo. It looks out of control the way it's moving. That's gotta be dangerous. The road's so narrow, he's barely staying on it, like he's sliding down the edge of a knife. But man, when he's on, he's faster than any car out there. He's a different kind of opponent. The kind that breaks every conventional rule in the books. Second round. And this time, I'll be the one in the observer's position. I get to see what your undefeated Goon Magrone talent has to offer. This again. Man, this corner sucks. Right now, every element that could line up against Takami is doing exactly that. A horribly tricky course that he's got no experience on. And there's the Levin's irregular pace that jumps in and breaks his rhythm. But above everything else, he's got that big uneasy feeling in his gut. He's still not used to the new 8-6. Her handling's still a mystery to him. And that's his biggest handicap. These conditions are crap. My car is shaking all over the place. I can't even use the inner edge of the road. It's worn all to hell. If the tires catch it, they're just gonna slip. I can't use the freaking outer edge coming out of the corners either. There aren't nearly as many usable areas on this road as you'd think by looking at it. Takami, if you hadn't figured it out, you better fast. The suspension settings change based on the power coming out of the engine. After I installed the new one, you kept saying to me you couldn't corner like you used to be able to, which makes perfect sense. Because that's exactly how I set the car up from the get-go. Only by getting your car revved up to the highest RPMs will you be able to corner at the higher speed like you want. You need to pick up on that, son. Unlock that car's capabilities, and this race is yours. What's going on? Did I just imagine that? <laughs>